Jaime. Are you ready now? Uh, yeah, I, I think I'm finally ready. So this video is not going to be your uh, typical step-by-step -step training on social media marketing agency. We're also not going to be talking about strategies or hacks that you can use to make more money with your online business. Uh, although you guys may be used to that at this point, but this video is going to be more deep, more personal. And what I want to talk about is my struggle with uh, happiness and money, right? Essentially, my take on money versus happiness. Does money make you happy? Uh, what's that whole equation about? Um, now, a few things to keep in mind before watching the video. Number one is right now, I'm probably the happiest I've ever been in my life. I feel like I'm on my purpose. I love waking up to my business and seeing that stuff is working, that the market is resonating with what I'm putting out, at least the numbers, which is around 56K per month right now. Uh, would indicate so. I love waking up and taking care of my team members, taking care of their families as well. Feeling also like I'm having a tangible impact, being able to take care of myself and my family. All in all, although there's a massive way to go, I'm pretty happy with where I'm currently at right now in my journey. But what I want to share with you in this video is not so much about where I'm currently at when it comes to my happiness, but what I've learned during my journey of going from zero, just completely broke, to attaining the levels of wealth that, you know, back, you know, two years ago, probably I, I saw as, as this insane thing, right? 50K per month, 100K per month, which I'm going to be hitting soon. Um, these insane numbers, right? I want to walk you through some of the pitfalls that I fell for uh, that are really going to prevent you from not only, you know, achieving your full potential when it comes to the financial side of things, but also feeling happy, which is uh, one of the, the most important things in life, right? Feeling like you're you're on a purpose, having just a good feeling in your stomach, just, you know, walking through life with a smile on your face. Because why would you want to have insane numbers in your bank account if you can't even have a smile on your face or if you can't even put a, a smile on your friends' or, or your family's uh, face, right? So I want to share with you some of the pitfalls that I fell for and some of the bad influences and temptations that I was drawn to during my journey that really actually slowed me down and made me less happy. Now, I don't have any regrets uh, when it comes to life. I think everything happens for a reason. I, th I think you also have to go through a paradigm to understand it. But by watching this video, you can literally download two plus years of mistakes as well as wins, as well as having seen what happens when you uh, go from not making money to making money uh, in the online space and possibly and hopefully avoid some of the pitfalls that I fell for um, and all in all, just be much happier during the journey. And the second thing that I want you to keep in mind before starting the video is that making money is not this evil thing. Making money will also not prevent you from being happy. Trust me, I'm way happier now that I'm making money than I was when I was broke and didn't have a purpose. It's not so much about the money and the number in the bank account, although it feels good to be, be able to take care of your loved ones, to be able to travel, to be able to not have to look at price tags. Although it feels good, it's more about the inner transformation, the person you become during the journey, right? It's about feeling like you have an impact. It's about you know, feeling like you can give back to the world because when you have wealth, usually you have more power and you can have more impact. So anyone who tries to tell you, oh, money won't make you happy and they haven't made money themselves, in a very polite way, they can go ahead and fuck off. Make the money, take care of your loved ones, go buy the nice things in life, go ahead and travel, go ahead and, you know, build your business, go ahead and achieve your wildest ambitions because quite frankly, and this may be politically incorrect, not making enough money is not something you should be proud of, right? Not having enough so that you can take care of your family or not having enough so you can go on vacation or, you know, you know, afford the, the, the nice meal at the restaurant you've always wanted to go. Not making enough so you can take care of your family is not something to be proud of, right? So go ahead and make the money, but go on the journey, keeping in mind some of the things, some of the analogies that I'm going to be walking you through in just a second. So very excited for this video. It's going to be a bit of a different one. It's going to be incredibly valuable. Uh, I wish I'd known this way sooner in my journey it would have helped me tremendously. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first concept that I want to walk you through is the leaky pot, right? So this, you know, here we've got the pot. If you guys have been watching my uh, TikTok content, this is the famous pot. I get so many questions on where I bought this pot uh, and rightfully so, because I literally feature it on, on every single uh, video on my TikTok. But the leaky pot concept is as humans, we tend to fall into the trap of thinking that the, the answer to being happy is adding more stuff to the pot, right? So adding you know, a car, I had a nice car, right? Finally getting to 10K a month, right? Or finally going out with that girl that you've chased for three plus years, right? Or getting this apartment, right? I've fallen into this trap before where you think that when you get the thing, right? When you get the material thing or when you get that person or when you finally are friends with this person or when you finally, um, you know, hit your goal, you'll be happy, right? And so it's this leaky pot concept where you realize that there's always a leak in the pot, right? No matter how much you add, it doesn't quite seem to fill the cup up. It doesn't quite seem to fill you up when it comes to your happiness levels, right? Your happiness levels remain exactly the same. 
Sure, you may experience joy, which I think is completely different to happiness. You may experience, you know, bursts of joy when you move into the, the new apartment, when you finally can tell the world that you made this much and, and they finally say, you did it, right? You were right all this time. You get little bursts of joy. But what happens often is you find yourself in this hamster wheel. You realize that once you get to 10K a month, it's actually not you know, an insane figure. It's it's an amazing figure, right? Well, especially when you're making zero. And quite frankly, 10K a month, you can take care of your family, you can take care of yourself, you can take care of your future family, right? You you finally don't have to worry about money. You can finally, you know, take care of the bills and not look at price tags and go to the nice restaurants and travel the world and have a bit of a wider impact, right? But you realize once you get to 10K a month that you want to get to 50K a month, 100K a month, right? And so you're constantly in this hamster wheel um, because you think that getting to 50K a month, 100K a month will finally make you happy, right? you know, once you get to 100k a month, you finally be able to make those connections that you weren't able to make um, at 10k a month, right? Because you were thinking way too small. And so a lot of the times I, I see people, um, you know, in, in their 40s, in their 50s, because I've been able to build an incredible network over the past few years um, of successful, you know, technically successful people, um, society would deem them as successful, right? They have the nice car, the, the nice house, the nice, you know, the nice salary, the nice income, but they're constantly on this hamster wheel because they're chasing the next thing. They chase and chase and chase. And they realize that, you know, they get to the end of their life and, and they've, they've only chased the next thing, right? They haven't actually been present during the whole journey. They haven't actually been happy at all, right? Because they were chasing the next thing and they thought that happiness laid on the other side of achieving that next goal. And that actually leads me to the second concept and the second analogy, which is wherever you go, there you are. You can take the man out of the hood, but you cannot take the hood out of the man, right? Obviously, there are exceptions to the rule. But what I'm trying to say here is over the past year, uh, when my business has skyrocketed, I've been to incredible places, right? I've been to incredible restaurants. I've traveled as much as the current social landscape allowed me to, but essentially I've been to incredible places, places that were on my bucket list, right? And what happens is you think that when you are there, right? You think that when you're chilling on the beach at, you know, in, in the Maldives and you're getting a pina colada and next to you, you've got an incredible girl, an incredible guy, whatever uh, you're into. Um, and, and and you've got this incredible, just incredible image, right? That, that you've manifested. You think that where, when you're there, it'll be incredible. You'll be, it'll be amazing, right? You'll be happy. And what you realize is, again, you may get a, a little burst of joy. You may say, holy shit, like, you know, this is a, a nice setup, but you realize that you're still the same person. You've carried with you the limiting beliefs, the fears, the worries, right? And so although everything around you has changed and it's gone from, you know, objectively from a, I don't know, a four out of 10 to a, a 10 out of 10, right? You're still the same person that you were when you were stuck in London or New York or Madrid or wherever you live, right? You're still the same person. And hopefully you realize that the grass is never greener. You always think that the grass is going to be greener on the other side of achieving that one thing, but it's not, right? You just achieve it. It's, it's great, right? Feeling, you know, it's, it's great going towards your goals. But if you haven't actually gone through an inner transformation and all you've chased is external, then you're going to feel quite empty. Giving you guys an example again, I'm very grateful that I've realized this uh, early in my life. And so, you know, I recently got this new apartment and a lot of people would ask me, um, you know, what are you going to do when you get the, the new apartment? You know, how happy are you going to be? Are you going to throw a little party? Like, you know, it's, it's a big accomplishment. How are you going to feel, right? How do you feel moving to, to this new apartment? Uh, and I basically told him like, look, I'm already going into it, expecting that this new apartment isn't going to make me happy at all. And also, you know, that's partly, you know, the, the way I'm wired. Um, I, I'm not really satisfied by material things. I'm aware that what actually makes me happy is building really cool shit uh, that impacts people, adds value to people, and also sharing that with my loved ones and seeing their, their you know, the, the smile on their faces. But um, I knew that it wasn't going to make me happy. And so I went into it knowing that, you know, the, after two days or after three days, I, I, I was already going to get used to the house and it wasn't going to make me happy at all. And a lot of people would just look at me and I knew they were thinking, you know, I was probably completely crazy. And they would tell me that, you know, I should stop and enjoy the, the whole moment and I should be super happy because it's a, it's a massive accomplishment. And obviously I did pause. I looked around and, you know, I, I was uh, I was proud of myself, but that was pretty much it. Right? I knew that an external thing wasn't going to make me happier than I was stuck at my parents' home. Now, the amazing things that I can create with my team in this place, right? The, the amazing people that I can have in this place, the amazing ideas, the amazing things that I can record in this place, that's what's going to make me happy. But getting the one thing or being in a new place isn't going to make me happy, right? Because wherever you go, there you are. And so very briefly recapping everything, we've got the leaky pot, uh, you know, understanding that the grass is never greener on the other side and that adding more things, chasing the next thing isn't going to make you happy, right? What, what actually makes you happy is enjoying the process, being present throughout the process and, you know, un understanding that happiness is only in the present moment. It's not when you get to the final destination. And the second thing is understanding that wherever you go, there you are. You can be in an incredible setup. You can be next to the, you know, the, the girl or guy of your, of your dreams. You can have accomplished everything in your life. You can have all the money in the world, but you're still the same person, right? So if you don't focus on that inner transformation, if you don't actually 
uh, enjoy the, the the struggles and enjoy the growth that comes from these struggles that comes from uh, the the lows of the entrepreneurial journey you're going to be very miserable right because that's literally the beauty of it those are some of the things that i've learned during my journey i still struggle with them to this day uh, i'm by no means perfect but as a final thing what is the solution right i wish i could tell you what the solution is. I, I, I don't even know myself, but one of the things that has helped me tremendously as of late is understanding that shooting for your goals is incredibly vital. It is nothing that you should be ashamed of, but it's also incredibly important while you shoot for these goals to understand the duality between self-acceptance, understanding that you are enough, you accept yourself, right? But you're not satisfied and you want to shoot for these goals. You want to shoot for developing yourself. So the duality between self-acceptance and self-development, because funnily enough, uh, and as, as a little side tangent, when you actually shoot for your goals and you try to develop yourself from a place of self-acceptance, it's actually so much easier. It's so much easier to sign those deals to, to get those clients onboarded because you're acting from a place of abundance. You don't need this to happen. You're not acting from a place of scarcity, which is actually much more attractive to people. And so you actually attract way more business to you. Okay. So that's the first thing that has helped me. And the second thing is do it with a smile on your face. If you find yourself taking things too seriously, force yourself to smile, do whatever it takes, right? Maybe go for a run, maybe go to the gym, um, maybe, you know, go ahead and, and, you know, hang out for 30 minutes, an hour with your friends, right? Um, do whatever it takes to put a smile on your face, because again, the work becomes so much easier when you're doing it with a smile on your face. It's not some cliche thing, but it actually works because you need to understand that if you think work is hard, if you think work is not fun, then you're going to manifest that, right? You're going to make work hard. If you think work should not be fun, then work is never going to be fun, right? If you think work should be hard, then it's always going to be hard. So again, embrace the duality of understanding that, you know, not making enough money is not cool. Uh, it's not something you should be proud of. Um, you know, not having a successful agency is not something you should be proud of. And you should definitely get that sorted. Get to 10k a month, 20, 30, 50k a month. Never settle for mediocrity, but do it with a smile on your face. So guys, that is that for this video. Definitely a bit of a, a different one. Let me know in the comments if you guys enjoy this type of video, more mindset, more um, you know, lessons I've learned during my journey, not just business hacks or strategies, although I could speak about that for hours on end, but more of the personal side of this incredible entrepreneurial journey. Now, if you've enjoyed the video and you resonated with it, go ahead and drop a massive thumbs up. It helps out a ton with the algorithm, the whole channel, and I'd really appreciate it. And the final thing is, if you haven't joined my free Facebook mastermind, I, I don't know what you're doing. It's an incredible community full of like-minded people looking to scale their agency, level up, in life, take care of themselves, their loved ones, achieve their wildest dreams. And if you want to join that incredible community, all you got to do is check out the link in the description, go ahead and apply. And if you're a good fit, we will let you in. And as always, hope everything's going well in your journey. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.